You know what's going on here. You know what's going on here. You know what's going on, man. It's a lot of money in the motherfucking building, man. I'm wearing my nigga Saucewood winning glasses that I just purchased, man. You know what I'm saying? A dub on the motherfucking Louis motherfucking friends, man. So that's a, that's a big deal, dub. Don't care me just for the Hey, dub. man. Today I'm part of the dub, man. We got Johnny Dang in the back talking that shit. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Cause I'm pimping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, I was watching YouTube last night, man. And I seen somebody discussing. Uh, making a little YouTube video, you know what I mean? They were talking about TSF and, you know, just the things that we be going through. Yeah, I'm a little ashy, it's always, but I'm always splashy. Even though I'm ashy, I'm always cashy and splashy, buying shit for me and my friend. But anyway, I'm make me a video today, man. I'm gonna discuss a few things, you know what I'm saying? Talking about what's the differences between losses, lessons, and blessings, you know what I'm saying? Because evidently, a lot of y'all don't understand the difference between losses, lessons, and blessings. You understand know, me? Because as far as I'm concerned, I ain't lost a motherfucking thing. TSF ain't lost shit, man. We ain't lost at all. We've been winning on the scoreboard for eight years consecutively, consistently. Let me tell you something, man. A lot of you chump ass dudes around this motherfucker, a lot of you niggas and you females, you a walking air, man. Every day of your life is a, is a loss. You understand me? If you motherfucking dedicated your time and life into, it, it, since you was in eighth grade, seventh grade to being an athlete, a football player, basketball player, and right now you got a regular job, nine to five, and you on YouTube making YouTube videos talking about what artists and, and, and rappers is doing in their life, that's an L. That is a living L. If you got a baby mama right now that got you on child support for one, two, or maybe three different children that you don't even have control over to see when you want to and how you want to, and then you can't even enjoy your freedom and the things that you want to do, that's a L. If you over 25 years old and you haven't counted over a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars of your own money and kept it, that's the L. I counted my first two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars when I was twenty-three years old, straight out the fresh, out the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, a lot of you niggas then got robbed and ass naked and had to walk down the street and couldn't bounce back from when you got took down. That's the L. I've never been robbed or lost nothing in my life. People been stealing and stealing, stealing has been getting stole ever since the motherfucking uh, baby has been old. You understand me? Everybody in the world has been through that, but a lot of you, you know, motherfucking niggas that sit back and be in these comments hating on the next man have been robbed for your dope, you've been robbed for your hope, you've been robbed for your clothes, you've been robbed for, for everything that you ever motherfucking own in these motherfucking streets, but you ever somebody come is talking about who we. A lot of y'all motherfucking niggas out here ain't got no beef, ain't got no enemies, ain't never shot at nobody, or probably even been shot at. But expecting somebody to do something gangster for you and your entertainment be an internet to be a dummy and trick they sales out the streets. See, let me tell you something about you peon and frank ass gangster niggas on these internet rapper sensations that y'all be following besides niggas like me. Besides you have a few niggas out there that is in my situations, such as NBA young boys and such. Federal investigation is a real thing. Getting federally indicted is a real thing. Overcoming federal indictment. Beating federal investigation, destroying allegations. That's a real thing that's not common, that's not easy. And a lot of you bitch ass niggas, snitch ass niggas, or weak ass niggas will never even do nothing in life of this level of gangster or business of importance to even be on those type of people radars. So, what damn fool and dummy? Want to satisfy your entertainment and your motherfucking personal opinion that ain't even never been through the possible situations and, 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 and obstacles that record labels and young kings and leaders and gangsters of myself and the public eye and figure go through to where you can judge on what's real and what's not and what's L's and what's losing. Because, nigga, what's the L is when 36 men got a federal indictment on a roundup and all 36 niggas down in that motherfucking me, uh, 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 down on that, in, in, in that, in that motherfucking can getting investigated and interrogated. You told me it was coming around. Everybody bond over 100,000, two, 300,000. It's a roundup. The L is when all your men getting smacked back to back, killed every motherfucking week, and the nigga making a new song and a new video about your partner that they smoking in the backwood. Them the L's, nigga. 
A L is when you a motherfucking rapper and you can't even live and you can't motherfucking ball and, and, and enjoy life in your own motherfucking city. You can't come outside your motherfucking house without a security guard that's eight feet motherfucking taller than you. Why well, I'm from Texas, we been punching on niggas that's eight feet tall since we were five feet, boy. And L, you can't even go in the bathroom and pull your dick out and take a piss without a big ass nigga over your shoulder. Punk. I'm at the motherfucking gym store right now. I dropped all type of money in one D by myself. I ain't got a motherfucking nigga up in here. Yeah. I rock like that by me in them streets. Rock like that by me. Hold on, I'm talking that shit. What's up, baby? Let me tell you niggas a motherfucking L, nigga. nigga. A L is nigga. A L nigga. A L nigga. When your ass thirty years old, nigga, and you ain't paid your motherfucking taxes yet, nigga, you got the IRS up under your ass, nigga. Motherfucker finna take all that money that you got. A L is fifty thirty years old. You ain't even never filed taxes or even made enough money in life to even pay the IRS. That's an L. An L to be over twenty five years old and you don't own a business. That's an L. A L is if you got more kids than you got millions of dollars. If you if for each kid you don't in your life you don't got a million dollars per child, that's an L. You spend me? You niggas need to motherfucking wake up before your ass break up and get your motherfucking cake up around this motherfucking nigga. For real, stay alive and free. That's the way to be, nigga. That's gangster, dummy. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of you niggas won't even understand what they feel like to be up under this pressure. To even be in them type of circumstances. See, I'm from Splash Town. We go through something different right here. In Houston, Texas, you don't see rappers beefing with rappers. Rappers don't beef with rappers. That's my blessing. You know what I'm saying? The shit that we go through and we really go down in these eight time streets, they ain't gonna really make it to the internet like that. They real live business. If we real live got grease and beef with niggas that's really up in the streets and niggas in different hoods that you will never know about. And it's really going down like that. Maybe a few niggas that want to be rappers. You niggas, y'all niggas make up beef and get into confrontation with somebody you never had no problem with just to build a rap career. That's an L. This real gangster shit going down right here, Playboy. Shit you'll never see, never make the nick. But back to balling. I just spent the 80 ball on my team real quick. You know what I'm saying? Never been to the league. Never never been. I was all about a hoe. Pimping. Fuck with me.